God is the real owner of all of us. Our Daily Bread. Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Mark DeHaan. June Williams was only four when her father bought seven acres of land to build a zoo without bars or cages. Growing up, she remembers how creative her father was in trying to help wild animals feel free in confinement. Today, Chester Zoo is one of England's most popular wildlife attractions. Home to 11,000 animals on 110 acres of land, the zoo reflects her father's concern for animal welfare, education, and conservation. Solomon had a similar interest in all creatures great and small. 1 Kings 10.22 tells us that in addition to studying the wildlife of the Middle East, he imported exotic animals like apes and monkeys from far-off lands. But one of his proverbs shows us that Solomon's knowledge of nature went beyond intellectual curiosity. When he expressed the spiritual implications of how we treat our animals, he mirrored something of the heart of our Creator. The righteous care for the needs of their animals, but the kindest acts of the wicked are cruel. With God-given wisdom, Solomon saw that our relationship to our Creator affects not only how we treat people, but also how much thoughtful consideration we give to the creatures in our care. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from 1 Kings chapter 4, verses 29-34. through 34. God gave Solomon wisdom and very great insight, and a breadth of understanding as measureless as the sand on the seashore. Solomon's wisdom was greater than the wisdom of all the people of the East, and greater than all the wisdom of Egypt. He was wiser than anyone else, including Ethan the Ezrite, wiser than Heman, Kalkal, and Darda, the sons of Maal, and his fame spread to all the surrounding nations. He spoke three thousand proverbs, and his songs numbered a thousand and five. He spoke about plant life, from the cedar of Lebanon to the hyssop that grows out of walls. He also spoke about animals and birds, reptiles and fish. From all nations, people came to listen to Solomon's wisdom, sent by all the kings of the world who had heard of his wisdom. That's today's scripture reading from 1 Kings chapter 4, verses 29 through 34. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, when we think about the wonder and diversity of your animal kingdom, please help us not only to worship you, but to take care of what you've entrusted to us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.